welcome to the Home Automation Channel. Now today I'm gonna to be reviewing the top three video doorbells. Now this one here is the Ring Pro, we have the Sky Bell, and we have the D-Bell HD Live. Now I'm going to be reviewing some of the basic features as well as some of the more advanced features. And I'm gonna be doing this right in front of you so you can see exactly how it works. Now how is this working, you wonder? I have these three mounted on a display board and behind it is a 16 voltage amp transformer that is helping them come to life and be able to show you this side-by-side -side comparison. All right, this is the transformer. And you'll notice that the D-Bell HD Live comes with an AC adapter. So for our first test, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the actual bells ring. All right, so the first one here is our Ring Pro. I hold it down like so and it even lights up. Okay, and I just happen to have my iPad here. I click on it because I got a notification. And here we are. It takes you right to the screen where it's going to show you who is at your door. So that one right there is our first one. Now for our next one, it is the Sky Bell. So again, I'm going to press the button, and here we are. I happen to have it pop right up here. So as you can see, the picture is already showing, and we're seeing who is there. Now for our next one, it is the D-Bell. And I've pressed that button, and it automatically opens up, and you just have to swipe to accept it. And there we are. Now first I'm going to mention what they all have in common. So well, I'll quickly list them off for you. Now for instance they're all easy to install. I'm going to give them that. Um, you are also able to utilize all of these with your Android and your iPhones. Um, they also have two-way audio so you can talk to whoever is at the door which is a nice fun fact. Uh, they have motion detection alerts which I had mentioned earlier um, and that alerts your phone or your tablet. Uh, and you could also have multiple users. Now what that actually means is that if you have a large family, then they can all answer the doorbell with their phones. But that's right, they don't even have to get off the couch. <laughs> all of these doorbells have HD cameras, and you can see live video from your phone or your tablet, whatever is paired to it. Now they also all have night vision using infrared LED technology and they all email a time-stamped picture when someone rings that bell. All right, now we're gonna compare the differences. So these three have different viewing angles. Now the first one here is our Ring Pro and it is at 160 degrees. We also have our D-Bell here, which is 160 degrees. This guy right in the middle, the Sky Bell, is 180 degrees. So in this discrepancy, the Sky Bell wins. Now we're on to our next difference and that is to look at the motion sensor and email functionality of each of these devices. Now what happens is you're to get an email with a picture and the motion, what triggered the motion, so you can find out more information about who's at your door. Let's check out the first one, shall we? The HD Bell Live. So as you can see, I am actually getting motion sensor report right now, and I will be checking my email to see if I got that. For our next one, we're going to use this is our sky bell. So I'm triggering the motion sensor, and again, I'm being alerted that I am getting motion, but again, I will need to check my email to see if I got that. For our third one, we are moving on to the Ring Pro. And again, I've triggered the motion. We're getting a notification that way. I will be checking my email to see if I got that. Stay tuned, because we're going to be logging in shortly. So next we're going to look at cloud video recording. Now all of these have that option. So you are going to get the footage sent directly to your iCloud. However, in two out of the three cases, this is a free service. But for the Ring Pro, they have actually charged and use this as a monthly fee. And I personally don't feel that you should ever have to pay monthly for something that should be complimentary. My next comparison is looking at where doorbells have never been before. So if you have existing wires, all three of these can be plugged in using those existing wires. However, if you have a situation where there are no existing wires and you still want to use it, only one of these devices will be able to accommodate that and plug directly into the AC. And that is the D-Bell HD Live. All right, so for a lot of our viewers out there, you may not want to have your doorbell connected to your Wi-Fi. 
Well, that is not a problem, and one out of three of these devices is able to accommodate that and work through your cable, and that's through its Ethernet port. And the winner of this one is the D-Bell HD Live. So if your camera isn't straight in front of you, you can actually angle it so it has 30 degree option. And that's with our 30 degree angle here. Now only two out of the three devices can do that. And that is our D-Bell HD Live and our SkyBell. Now some of you will notice that when you ring the bell on these ones, it will ring directly on your phone. But some of you might want your house to ring as well. Now only one of these three devices come with a chime included which will ring the interior of your house. And that is the D-Bell HD Live. Now another fun fact is that comparing these installation wise, one is easier than the other two. Now if you live in Canada, it happens to be cold year round. <laughs> so I definitely appreciated the fact that the D-Bell HD Live has an AC adapter, which allows you to be able to do the entire installation from the comfort of your home. The SkyBell and the Ring Pro do not have an AC adapter. Now I was very pleasantly surprised to see that one of these three had a one touch configuration setup and that was the D-Bell HD Live. For the next one, our SkyBell actually had me go through a five stage process which involved me putting in my email and personal information. And for the Ring Pro, it was even more complex, nine stage process, which had again, my email, personal information, my home address, and the list goes on. So in comparing them, I definitely like the one touch setup. For a lot of you, security is a major concern. So motion and audio are a paramount concern to you. Now only one out of three of these devices was able to accommodate both motion and audio and that is the D-Bell HD Live. The other two only deal with motion. All right, so for a lot of you staying on the security concern, you wanna be able to have the video happen 24 seven for months at a time before the video loops back around. That can only be done one of two ways, through NOS or through network video recording. And that requires a built-in protocol called OnVIF and only one out of three of these devices has that capability. And that is the D-Bell HD Live. How much is this all gonna cost me, you might wonder? Well, let's check it out. Now this one right here, the Ring Pro, is available for $249 at Best Buy, which is not including the chime and the hidden fees that come per month. Our next one is the SkyBell, and that one is $199, again at Best Buy, and also not including the chime and the monthly fees. Our third one is the D-Bell HD Live, which is available for $129 online, including the chime and no monthly fees. Now that concludes my comparison of the top three video doorbells. Now let's say I already have the Ring Pro already installed in my house. Am I gonna fork out another 140 and change for a new doorbell? Probably not, but if I am in the market for getting a new doorbell, will I consider the HD Live doorbell? Absolutely. Well, I hope you enjoyed that comparison and I hope you found it helpful. Now for future videos and to be notified when we get new ones up, make sure you subscribe to our channel and also check us out on Facebook. We also have an account on Instagram. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.